episode of Coach's Corner. We'll see you for the next one. Welcome back to our next segment of Coaches Corner. Today, we'll be discussing the outside zone and the different possibilities out of the outside zone. All right, before we get started, let's talk about some principles out of the outside zone first. All right, just like inside zone, we are still going to use our uncovered and covered principles. All right, so our first step, are we covered or are we uncovered? All right, two. Now, our aiming points. All right, now out of our aiming points, we got to know that now we are, instead of blocking and driving the guy a certain direction and getting him out of the hole, now we are hooking this guy, okay? We're going to attack his outside shoulder. We want to edge that. We want to get that turn. So we want to have the line moving that way, going right, stepping right, hooking this man so we can gain outside access, okay? We want to attack the edge, all right? All right, now three is gaining the edge, all right? Now we gain the edge a few different ways. We gain the edge. Some guys teach a step with a rip to the outside shoulder, punching the outside shoulder and running with it, which we call ripping and running. Or some guys teach our conventional, we're going to step, we're going to get there, work our feet and work our hips and hands and turn the shoulder and work it, okay? So that's kind of by your offensive preference, okay? That's your offensive preference there. All right, so first, let's talk about getting out there running a traditional outside zone play out of a spread formation. Stop it. We're now going to draw it up, okay? Verse the 40 front, okay? So verse our 40 front, all right? We're going to go, let's go with an 11 personnel. When I say 11 personnel, I mean one tight end, one running back, okay? So we're going to go with 11 personnel here, all right? Verse our 40 front. We have a five technique here. We'll work a nose guard, three technique there, seven technique, and we'll put it the back of there, all right? We'll put it back of there. Okay, so now for these purposes, we want to attack this outside edge. We're going to go right. So as we're going right, stepping right, we want to try to gain this edge. It's kind of hard, so we're going to have to go for uh, Work that double team. These two for those two. We might have to chip off this shoulder just to get to climb to that next level. This guy's going to be coming to force the play. All right, we got to get here. We're covered. We got to take him. All right, we're uncovered that way. We're going to try to elevate it there. All right, we get here. We're going to take him. We're covered. We're taking him. On the back side, we'll use the same rules as we used in inside zone, okay? Leaving the back side in. We'll use those same rules, all right? Running back here now is an approach going to the outside, reading the edge, okay? Reading the edge. We get pressure up there. He has to go inside, okay? We get a crash here. He works outside, all right? Same on the, in, on the like, inside zone. Our quarterback will hold that with the fake. Hold the end on the back side with the fake. All right, now get in the edge. So our purpose there is attacking this and stretching the defense, getting the defense to move. All right, now, um, one of the teams that you'll see this play ran a lot with is um, University of Alabama runs it, but also the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, the Cowboys are very good at, at, at getting guys to overflow and, and pursue. And with Zeke Elliott back there, he's real good at, at, at getting here and playing the piano, playing the piano, and finding the spot to hit. That is something that, that that's is something to, to really watch. Okay, now guys, uh, we're going to talk about different backfield actions, okay, that help and support the outside zone philosophy, okay? First one I want to talk about is running the jet play. A lot of you guys, jet, fly, sweep, that type of deal. We're motioning this guy from the boundary or from his position, okay, across the formation, giving him the ball and trying to get the outside. The same concept, just like the stretch play. You know, it's no, some, some guys even rip and run with this guy and just try to cross this guy's face and get to the next level. We're trying to cross the next level's guy's face with the spiller zone concept, getting us to the edge, okay? Normally having, a, normally having a lead blocker here, and then gets us out here to the edge. A lot of guys use that philosophy, okay? Um, another philosophy I want to talk about is our pitch philosophy, okay? We have our pitch. A lot of guys running pin and pull, but the guys will run this philosophy, motion him across to give us extra block, and we'll pitch it out there. Okay? We do things like that. Um, we just talked about the actual stretch philosophy, so we're going to come back and let's talk about um, another toss philosophy. Motion in, arc motion around, and toss it out there. A lot of guys call that a rocket play. Okay? The outside zone can be used in many different facets, many different facets, and... and, and 
and it helps. And it keeps it simple for the lineman, it keeps it simple for the quarterback, keeps it simple for the running back, keeps everybody in sync. And you can use different looks and different motions and shifts and use that same outside zone concept and make, run the same play and run different plays. And, 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 it, and it helps. It helps. For joining us for this episode of Coach's Corner, we'll see you for the next one.